Dyson does not throw wild punches. Big left hook. And there is Sam down. Three, four, the count is five, the rest of the six, six, the count is seven. This eight, one's over. Nine. This one is over. Tyson takes two steps forward. Let's go with a couple of lefts now. A right, a left. He's got it down. Mike Tyson sends Mike Jamison to the mat. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Entertainment Biz. We explore the intriguing life of Mike Tyson, one of boxing's most recognizable characters, today. From his troubled personal life to his remarkable boxing accomplishments, and from the turmoil surrounding his postponed fight with Jake Paul to his surprise return to the ring. Prepare yourself for an exciting voyage through Iron Mike Tyson's life. American professional boxer Michael Gerard Tyson was born on June 30, 1966. He made his debut in competition in 1985 and is expected to return in 2024. Throughout his career, he went by the nicknames Iron Mike and Kid Dynamite before becoming the baddest man on the planet. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell for more entertainment business that you need to know. Mike Tyson was bullied all the time and used drugs, beatings, and house robberies to define who he was. At age 11, he had his first snort of coke. At 13 he had been arrested 38 times. He eventually found himself at Johnstown, New York's Tryon School for Boys. Bobby Stewart, a former boxer and counselor at a juvenile correctional center, noticed Tyson's developing boxing skills there. After a few months of training, during which Stewart thought Tyson was a fantastic fighter, he introduced the boxer to boxing management and trainer Cuz D'Amato. After Tyson's mother passed away when he was 16, D'Amato took up her role as his legal guardian. Unfortunately, his mother did not witness what he had accomplished but only remembers him as an undesirable kid. In an interview, Mike Tyson said, I never saw my mother happy with me and proud of me for doing something, she only knew me as being a wild kid running the streets, coming home with new clothes that she knew I didn't pay for. I never got a chance to talk to her or know about her. Professionally, it has no effect, but it's crushing emotionally and personally. At the Junior Olympic Games in 1981 and 1982, Tyson won gold medals after winning against Joe Cortez in 1981 and Kelton Brown in 1982. After defeating Jonathan Littles in the 1984 Nation Golden Gloves Tournament in New York, Tyson took home the gold medal. On March 6, 1985, Tyson made his professional debut in Albany, New York, at the age of 18. He stopped Hector Mercedes via TKO in the opening round. In his debut year as a professional, he fought in 15 matches. In his early bouts, Tyson had won 26 out of 28 by KO or TKO, with 16 of those victories occurring in the first frame. In less than six minutes on November 22, 1986, 20 year old Tyson became the youngest fighter to win a world heavyweight championship by knocking out Burbick. It was the start of arguably one of the most memorable careers in sports history and one of the most brutal knockouts in boxing history. Tyson's life outside of the ring was turbulent despite his success within. In addition to his many legal troubles, he was convicted of rape in 1992 and sentenced to three years in prison. Tyson was taken into custody in July 1991 after raping Desiree Washington, then 18, in a hotel room in Indianapolis. The Marion County Superior Court held Tyson's rape trial from January 26 to February 10, 1992. Mike Tyson's statement before in front of the judge said, I don't come here begging for mercy, ma'am, I can't see anything good coming from this. I'm here prepared to expect the worst. I've been crucified, humiliated worldwide. He served four years of probation after being released from prison. Mr. Tyson required to complete at least 100 hours of community service on behalf of youth and participate in psychotherapy throughout his probation. Tyson tried unsuccessfully to restart his boxing career after serving his time. He chewed off a portion of Evander Holyfield's ear during their notorious 1997 fight, which is now regarded as one of the most contentious incidents in sports history. After Mike Tyson bit him and caused severe bleeding from his right ear, Evander Holyfield won the WBA heavyweight title when Tyson was declared out of the fight in the third round. As the ring filled with security personnel, Tyson lodged a complaint with referee Mills Lane. He immediately raced across the ring to Holyfield's corner. He never made it to Holyfield, but before he was taken away, he struck a policeman. 
A few seconds after the disturbance was contained, Tyson attempted to cross the ring once more. Holyfield was halted, and he and his group exited the ring. In an interview, Tyson said, I felt Holyfield was using his head illegally. I told the referee I wasn't getting any help, so I went back to the streets. I cannot defend it, but it happened. Tyson's life was made more difficult by his battles with drug misuse and money issues. Mike Tyson was charged with possession of cocaine on December 29, 2006, and driving while under the influence of drugs after his arrest in Arizona. Tyson's black BMW almost collided with a sheriff's car, leading to his arrest in Scottsdale, Arizona, which is located 10 miles east of Phoenix. Tyson entered a guilty plea to cocaine possession and driving while intoxicated on September 24, 2007. In November 2007, he was found guilty on these counts and given a 24-hour jail sentence. He was required to perform 360 hours of community service and served three years of probation after being released from prison. There were reports in 2024 that Tyson and YouTuber-turned-boxer Jake Paul, who is known as, the problem child, would square off. This surprising bout that combined traditional boxing with contemporary online culture created a lot of talk. In an interview, Jake Paul said, It's crazy to think that in my second pro fight, I went viral for knocking out Nate Robinson on Mike Tyson's undercard. Now, less than four years later, I'm stepping up to face Tyson myself to see if I have what it takes to beat one of boxing's most notorious fighters and biggest icons. The fight scheduled for July 20 at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has been rescheduled due to medical advice. Tyson, a former undisputed heavyweight champion, was to take on the YouTuber turned professional boxer. On May 26, Iron Tyson experienced a medical scare while traveling from Miami to Los Angeles. Following the event, his representative said that although the baddest man on the planet was doing great, he suffered an ulcer flare-up. The battle is scheduled to happen on November 15, 2024, at the same arena, according to an announcement made on June 7, 2024. The revelation was revealed by Paul, whose MVP firm is sponsoring the bout. It is impossible to dispute Tyson's impact on popular culture and sports, even in the absence of a fight. Mike Tyson's transformation from a disturbed young man to a legendary boxer and his ongoing reinventions demonstrate that his name will live on in history. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Mike Tyson. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for deeper queries into the lives of your favorite legends. Until next time, keep fighting for your dreams. Basically, just needs to hit him here. But he comes in with another right uppercut, which grazes.